Linda Pedrosa was 17 when she and her then-boyfriend, Antoine Wright, ended the life of her mother, Isabel Pedrosa. Isabel did not approve of her daughter's relationship with Wright, who was 25 years old, after catching the two in bed together. She reportedly began making racist comments against the young black man and insisted the two of them break up. It was at this point that Wright and Linda began planning the best way to get rid of Isabel. At first, they thought about poisoning her. Then, Linda stole $100 from her mother's purse and used it to buy bullets, but they were too big for the gun Wright had borrowed from a friend. Their final plan was based on a story Isabel told Linda about something that happened to a relative years prior. The husband had gotten their relative pregnant and kidnapped her to take care of the situation. He allegedly doused the body in acid in an attempt to cover up the crime. So that's what Wright and Linda decided to do. On June 23, 2000, Wright and Linda waited for Isabel to come home from work. When she walked in the door, Wright attacked her from behind with a frying pan. He then used an electrical cord to strangle her. Once the job was finished, the couple put Isabel's body into the bathtub and filled it with acid. When it did not work as they'd hoped, they took her mother to a wooded area and unceremoniously dumped her on the forest floor. The two then staged the car by leaving it at the airport. A couple of days later on the 27th, Linda reported her mother missing, telling investigators that she and her mother had gotten into a big argument and Isabel had decided to go to Texas to stay with her son for a while. Isabel's body was discovered by surveyors on July 4th. At first, the police had a difficult time identifying her. However, jewelry that matched what Isabel was wearing in her missing persons photo helped ID the corpse. Dental records further confirmed that it was indeed Isabel. Police immediately began investigating the situation as a homicide. When police first questioned Linda about her mother, she was not yet a suspect. Linda pointed to a client whom she said had picked her mother up. Isabel had a side business helping people file taxes and fill out permanent resident or green card registration forms. Police investigated for several weeks before they finally linked Linda and Wright to the crime and made the arrests. The picture of daughter murdering her mother was shocking to everyone that knew the family. But many agreed that Linda had changed going into her teenage years. I watched her grow up and change, said Audrey Edmondson, a neighbor who said she became good friends with Isabel Pedrosa after moving into the duplex next door. She became this really wild teenager, which surprised me because it was my idea that she was a perfect kid. Between an overly strict mother who was hardly home due to work and an abusive alcoholic father who was in prison, it was the perfect recipe for disaster. Isabel was sick with worry over her daughter, who had established a pattern over the last few years of using drugs, running away, and having boys in the house while her parents weren't home. This from a daughter who for years had been her mother's helper, cooking, cleaning, taking care of family pets, and working in the yard. Isabel was too strict, Edmondson said. She literally tried to keep that kid prisoner, and I thought, one day, She's going to push that kid over the edge. But I never dreamed it would come to this. I told her, Isabel, she's going to do what she wants to do. Miguel Pedrosa, Linda's father, was in jail facing domestic violence charges against Linda when the crime happened. He blamed himself for the incident because he wasn't a good father. These are consequences of the lifestyle I led, he said. Both Linda and Wright confessed to the charges while in custody. The two were facing the death sentence if convicted of first-degree murder. Wright was the first to turn on Linda to save his own skin. He took a plea deal of 20 years in exchange for testifying against Linda in court. Linda had refused to do the same to him multiple times. In the end, Linda took a plea deal for herself 
for 40 years in prison to avoid the death sentence, double the time that Wright would end up doing. During her trial, Linda said her only goal was to be with the man she loved. I really love him. I still love him right now. I swear I do, she said. That's why I did it. That's why I let him do it. Ann Perry, Linda Pedrosa's attorney, said she was disappointed her client will spend twice as long in prison as Wright. She is certainly remorseful for what happened and ever getting in contact with Antoine Wright, Perry said. Assistant State Attorney Shirley DeLuna said she has no qualms with Linda Pedrosa receiving the longer prison sentence. Linda Pedrosa was the one who gave the go-ahead to the murder, calling Wright that day to tell him it was time to kill her mother. Isabel was her mother, she said. His mother is still alive. He indicated he wouldn't hurt a hair on his mother's head. The earliest Linda could be released on good behavior would be when she is 51 years old. So there you have it. Unconditional love from Linda, so deep she would murder her own mother to save it. However, Wright's love turned sour the second it became him or her. A hard lesson learned in the cruelest of ways. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.